Hey everyone, Jason Shepard of M0A.com here to talk to you a little bit about different types of altitudes. This is going to come in real handy when we're talking about cross-country flight planning. You're going to need to know what is density altitude, what is pressure altitude, have you ever heard of absolute altitude? All these terms and more we're going to talk about in just a second. Let's go ahead and get to that video. All right, so we're starting out with the most basic one, indicated altitude, what you read right off your altimeter. The current altitude from the altimeter when it's set to the current altimeter setting. doesn't get any easier than that. Let's look at another one. This one's really interesting, true altitude. True altitude is the vertical distance of the airplane above sea level. It is known as the actual altitude. It's often expressed as feet above mean sea level, MSL. Things like uh, airport, terrain, obstacle elevations on aeronautical charts like your sectional or your tack are all true altitudes. So that's something that's kind of your interesting fact for the day. True altitudes are what's shown on your sectional chart. Another one here is absolute altitude. This one is always changing. The vertical distance of an airplane above the terrain or above ground level, AGL. Think if you had a laser beam that could shoot just straight down like a radar altimeter. And it would just, it would hit the ground and read right back with the, uh, what the altitude was. Well, as you went over mountains, as you passed over towers, you know, houses, that laser beam would get shorter and longer real quick. That's what your absolute altitude is. It's constantly changing. The vertical distance of an airplane above the terrain or above ground level, AGL. Big one here, pressure altitude. Pressure altitude is the altitude indicated when the altimeter is adjusted or set to 299 or 2, because that's our standard altimeter setting. Um, that is the altitude above the standard datum plane, which is a theoretical plane where air pressure corrected to 15 degrees Celsius equals 29 or 9 or 2. Standard temperature, standard pressure, that perfect standard day. Um, you use pressure altitude to compute density altitude, true altitude, true air speed, and a lot of other performance things for your performance charts in your POH, your pilot's operating handbook. Um, you know, pressure altitude, you can calculate it on your E6B. Uh, it's very easy to calculate that way. There's also a formula you can use to calculate it too, which I'll list beneath this video if you guys are viewing it on m0a.com. Last one here is density altitude. You have to have your pressure altitude if you want to find your density altitude. Density altitude is pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperature. It doesn't get any easier than that. The way I put it to my students is, it's where your airplane feels like it's flying. If the density altitude is 2,000 feet on the ground, your airplane feels like it's at 2,000 feet already just sitting on the ground. So that's pretty neat stuff and it's real important, especially flying out west where the density altitude gets so hot or it gets so hot and the density altitude gets so high, you may not be able to even leave the ground because the airplane feels a lot higher than it really is. For more great flight training videos, visit m0a.com. I have a ton of awesome stuff on there. And if you don't learn anything today, remember, a good pilot is always learning. I'll catch you guys later.